He wasn't doing anything that made me say, yo, like, every, like, like, mainly in martial arts movies that I like, the guy will have some weird power that you'll be like, Hey everybody, my name is Nick. I'm a director and editor living in Taiwan and backed by popular demand. Ba -ba -ba -ba, <laughs> your boy! He's been requested in the comments, so we brought him back. For you. I'm back, <laughs> my friend. Is Tumba Child. There we go. Dirty. Yeah. Dirty black ghosts to yeah. Instagram followers and my wife. <laughs> okay. So today we're reviewing a Kung Fu classic, The Master of the Flying Guillotine. Yes, uh, recommended by Nick. I watched it, but I also know of a different one called The Fatal Flying Guillotine, so don't get them mixed up. This one, Master of the Flying Guillotine, is pretty damn cool because it has a lot of little Easter eggs of stuff in the future, and I can tell that like a lot of stuff references this film. Well, Wu-Tang for sure. Wu-Tang yes. talks about The Fatal Flying Guillotine quite a bit. Uh, later on, I'll maybe get into a, little, a few things that may have taken from this. Right. In particular, one video game. Yeah. The plot of this is that there is this master, the master of the flying guillotine. Yes. He has this weapon called the flying guillotine that you throws out. It lands on your head and it chops it off like a guillotine. Uh, he goes out to avenge the deaths of his uh, pupils by this one-armed boxer. Then there is a kumite happening, like a like a <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah like a tournament yeah a tournament a random a random tournament a is going on yeah yeah a random martial arts tournament is going on and that's where all of these uh, assassins from foreign countries come and meet and they're all for some reason I guess trying to kill this one armed boxer guy. But did you know at the beginning that who the one armed boxer was? Yeah, well I like, I mean right, right off the bat. Well, when they go, they show him in the in the in his dojo. Yeah, I knew that that was him. I had no idea. You didn't know. I had no idea. I was just like, <laughs> well, he's one arm. They're talking about one arm guy, and in the next scene, they show a one arm guy. I, for some reason, I wasn't paying attention to his arm. I well, <laughs> because that is something I want to talk about with this film. The effects are so crap. Yeah, like the one arm guy is basically he's like. He's like, oh yeah, I got one arm. Yeah, yeah, like, like it, like, like the you can hangs see down. It. You can see oh, the oh, shit inside I, his. I didn't even look at that. I just saw that his arm was like, like the sleeve was so long. That's why I didn't notice. I was just watching him, right. and I was like, oh, and he's teaching the techniques, and I'm like, okay, so this is possibly. I was confused as to who the good guy and the bad guy was, e even all the way to the end. I was like, I'm not sure if, right. if it's the one arm boxer is is the dickhead. Right. Or is it this guy who's trying to avenge them? I mean, you kind of get a hint at the tournament when <laughs> when the old yeah. guy... He just, like, kills some dude randomly for no reason? Well, he kill, he kills a few people, but at the end when he fucking blows up the whole house, and, <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, and yeah. then you're just like, all right, well, I guess he's a fucking... And he also keeps saying, like, like you've killed senselessly. He's like, I don't care. I'm yeah, killing yeah. everybody with one fucking arm. And you're like, I, I guess he's a dick. Yeah, but he's kind of a badass. Like, the way that they set up his character in the very beginning is the first thing that I was like, oh, I'm going to love this movie, was right when the movie starts and he's like, I'm going to avenge them. And then he goes into his house and the beat drops. Oh, Like, yeah. the beat of like, dun, sh, dun. Yeah, and he's yeah, walking yeah. in and Classic. he's getting the guillotine. It's so cool. And it made me realize, like, I, I kind of understand after watching this movie now why so many people in hip-hop love kung fu movies so much. Because just the sound drops and all of the, like, sound effects things are so rich and like you can use them in so many different ways yeah i mean it's you know i mean yeah all of it's iconic i mean of course and the stories are always you know hero beats the bad guy comeback story right all that shit just just classic shit that i guess everyone likes easy to write about though and all the all the cool sound effects that come with it and everything well you kind of mentioned to me like you noticed like a lot of sound effects in hip-hop stuff Oh, well, especially Wu-Tang. Right. Especially, I mean, almost all Wu-Tang, they just took it from that because they just figured... The other thing that I thought was pretty interesting is what I was talking about, about how the effects are so crap. But for some reason, it's so dope. Like, oh, yeah. I, I oh, yeah. actually kind of wish more movies did that kind of shit now where they were just like, yeah, fuck it, we don't care. We don't care if the effect is stupid as hell. As yeah. long as, like, we're, we're just doing this cool thing and it doesn't matter if it looks dumb. Like, all, movies but, back in the day used to do but, that But the I think the, the, the problem with now is is that it's so easy to make it perfect. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, before yeah. before you would have to say... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, hey, shit, I have two arms. He's like, well, what can we do? He's like, well, just tape it to your chest, and then you'll, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. you'll just fight. But, like, now they'll just CGI the arm out, and then you'll right. be like, and then, like, like a bad CGI, you'd be like, 
you know, like like you'd be like, oh, it, like it looks really bad, and, and and that would kind of make you think, well, it looks even faker, right? Than a taped arm to the chest, like a taped arm to the chest. It's almost like if everything is bad, yeah, it's acceptable. But if just right. one thing is bad, you're like, yeah, like dinosaur looked real, and uh, the building crashing looked real, but that arm, like it just didn't move like a real arm, and you're yeah. like, yeah, that's the problem now. Everything is it's too good. It's too. It, they, they have like the technology level is too high that yeah, people yeah. expect everything to just be totally perfect. Yeah. yeah Whereas, yeah, yeah like, I don't know. I, this gave me an idea that I think I want to do now is like, I want to make a movie that just uses all the old shit effects. That would be dope. Be <laughs> and dope. it's like, but like it's like not like supposed to be a comedy or whatever. It's like a serious movie, but like all, like a yeah. kung fu movie like this, where it's just like, I do the fucking lame arm tape to the chest. I do the stupid ass like walking up the wall thing. Yeah, yeah. Did. Well, use like, yeah, use all the old school tricks that they had to learn. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. turn the camera on the side or do whatever random thing you have to do. That, that, that's actually something you appreciate, I think. You know, movies like that is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is like that. Oh, They really? do all that stuff in Nightmare on Elm Street and they do some cool, like, they do some cool effects. Like, they have a scene where like a person's on the ceiling like rolling around and what they did was they just built everything upside down see yeah so they do cool stuff like that like that stuff I don't know it's just better because you put more thought into it anyway um yeah so other than that though I think there's so many like cool martial arts references like in this like my boy the Muay Thai guy oh, coming in oh, the yeah, beginning yeah, yeah. with his shins all whatever yeah 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 and yeah. I actually missed that he was supposed to be a Muay Thai guy until I saw him fighting. fighting. Yes, and me I was too. like, I was like, oh snap, is this guy like from Thailand or what? I think I yeah, I think I caught that like yeah, only when he fought. I I, I could tell when he was fighting. I was like, oh, he's like yeah. he's like, yeah yeah yeah, the, like the stance and everything. I mean yeah. So now it's so now that we're at the tournament part. Uh, this obviously a lot of people in the comments were saying that that Street Fighter reference right. this right because it's basically. But you know what? Like the fucking tournament went on forever. It fucking went on forever. Yeah, like, that's I, I, I agree. The I'm tournament just, was too long, and it's all these characters that you don't, you haven't nope. met before. Yep. They, they just die, and, and your man is just announcing them. He's like, "Exciting fighter from the north," and then some fucking guy comes running in, and you're like, "Oh, two arm boxer from the east," and then they just run in and they just fight. Someone fucking dies, and then you're like, "Get the bodies out of here." All right, it's the disco guy from this, and you're like, yeah, yeah, who yeah. the fuck are these guys? And you're like, all right, and you're just watching random fights, and one arm boxer just like, hmm, watching. He's like, yes, oh, this one's this is good. great. But like, it's, that that tournament thing is so makes no sense too because why would anybody want to do that? Also, like, yeah, you just go fucking just die out, and then you just, maybe you die, yeah, maybe you live, yeah, and motherfuckers are allowed to show up with weapons. It's like. Right, right, right. What's the like, rules of this? Like, <laughs> you know, it's like like the one guy with the fucking with with the with the kung lao hat from uh, from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, he shows up and he's fighting a fair fight. Then suddenly he's like, he pulls out a fucking knife and stabs the guy. And then one arm's like, hmm, clever. It's like, yeah, that's good. It's like, it's like okay, like, so you he can... has a knife, and it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, speaking of like shitty things about this movie, that's pretty amazing. Is that the dope music that they use oh, yeah, is from an uh, experimental German rock band, it's and they perfect. use that. But they didn't get any rights to any of the oh, shit. So, so they, they had just, to redo it. No, they didn't have to redo it. They, they just, just stole were it? just like, yeah, whatever. We'll just <laughs> we, we're just gonna make it because uh, I think at the school. time in the seventies they're like, yeah, we're just selling this in Hong Kong. How is the German punk band ever gonna find right, out? Of course, that we use their music. So what happened? So they did find out. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess people know now, but probably because I think the movie is uh, like public domain or something. So oh. So, like, after the tournament stuff, then it kind of gets into a little bit of a plot where, like, yeah. these foreign assassins are trying to kill, are trying to help this monk kill the one-armed boxer. Mm -hmm. To be honest, like, the plot of this movie, like, yeah. doesn't really make nope, sense. Nope, the shit's really all over matter. the place. Like, like they were like, a uh, one-armed boxer has a school, and they're like, teacher, can we go? And he's like, we can go and watch, but we can't participate. Why? Because the government's looking for us. What the fuck right. is the government? Why does the government want right. you? Right, they're supposed to be main revolutionaries or something. Yeah. Like, that part of it is, like... Not making sense. And Yeah, they tried to, like, tack on this, like, political... But who gives a crap? And, and other random shit, like, guys pretending to be the one-armed boxer. Like, that one guy stealing all those chicken... I mean... Right, right. Like, and you're like, he's like, I'm the one-armed boxer, don't you know me? And then he gets killed, and you're like... Yeah, I guess. Like, I mean, like, they didn't really build up his name to be, like, this super notorious guy. They were just kind of like, he killed these two guys. And this guy's like, I'm going to find him. And then after that, they're like, we're having a tournament. And right. that was it. It was like, it, it, there was nothing like, let's get the tournament to lure the boxer out. Or there was nothing like that. It was just sort of like, let's just do shit. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and it's exactly. just happening. Which is why I think the, the good thing about this movie is, like, basically stealing little parts of it. 
to put into something better, right? Like, oh, yeah. Like, so you, you talked about the Raiden guy. I wonder if that guy was the inspiration for Raiden with his... With well, his we all know there's one absolute for obvious, sure. obvious yeah. inspiration, and it's fucking Dalsim. Yeah. And uh, that scene, when he walks in, I'm looking at this guy, and I'm like, are they doing... Like an Indian blackface right now. Right. I'm like, because I'm looking at his head and I'm like, that's not a it's fucking a, it's turban. It's a Chinese guy. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, a, it's a Chinese guy, but he's dark. So I'm like, is this just like a darker guy? Like maybe he's like a farmer or maybe he's just some other Thai guy or something. And I'm looking at his head and I'm like, is that a fucking turban? I can't tell. And that shitty beard. And then he starts talking and I'm like, oh no, oh no. Like they tried to do an accent and it was horrible. And then he starts doing the stretchy arms and I'm like, oh no, they just. The stretchy it. arms were so amazing. He yeah. just, yeah, that was his, which is funny because whenever I would watch, whenever I would play Street Fighter, I, would, I always like to play as Dalton. Oh, really? Even though he's oh. super hard to play as. But I always was like, why is the yoga guy his like super cool thing that his arms stretch, right? I guess it's like you stretch your body. Just, yeah. Which, which sadly backfired in the, in I, I guess in the writers or the guys, the production guys who are supposed to figure out what makes sense in the movie. The guys reaching out and trying to grab him and shit but the way that he ends up going down is that his stretchy arm the guy ties some shit on it goes around the pole and goes whoosh, and, and just breaks the arm and happens snapped his brittle but ass yeah, arm yeah, in yeah, half yeah, and I'm like wait a minute stretchy yeah, arms I'm he like, should just bend around yeah I'm like wouldn't it just bend but it's like the guy ends up breaking his arm and I'm like well that was didn't make sense yeah yeah and then your boy goes off to uh, find a way to foil this uh, guillotine master and decides bamboo that's the way. That's the that's the right. way to stop this. Which is which is hilarious because it's like he, he's watching some guy uh, chop bamboo with an axe, and that I seriously thought my computer was glitching or something because they cut back and forth where it's like, and he's like, hmm, and then it's like, hmm, hmm. I'm like, dude, you figure it out already. Like, yeah. How many times you got to see it? And then he's like, I got it. Bamboo is the strongest thing in the world. Fuck it. Which is like, no, it's not, dude. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they just threw a bunch of shit together. And the ending, when they when they end up at what's his name's house, uh, one armed boxer's house, fucking first guy shows up fighting, and then eventually fucking one armed boxer shows up, and that shit goes on forever. And the way it ends, I'm like, this isn't that satisfying. Like he just ends up killing him. There's no end credits. There's no talking. Well, that is, and it's just kind of like... That is what, what these done. kung fu movies always do. Like, almost every kung fu movie, it's like, they have all this stuff. They have this... They set up this plot of like, oh, these guys are revolutionaries, blah, blah, blah. There's a fight with a final boss. But as soon as that final boss is dead, <laughs> movie's done. We don't care about any of this stuff. Like, how did they do anything? Like, no, no follow-up. No, no set yeah, <laughs> Just boss is done, movie's done, over, finished. Fuck. Like, throw him in the coffin... Get the, yeah, oh yeah, he, gets the, he, he, he fucking gets like punches the, him into the coffin. He yeah. punches him through the roof, and they're like, <laughs> boom, into the coffin. He puts the he put, he's like, here, here's some flowers for you, loser, and then that's it. Fucking Credits. done. I, I mean, I kind of respect that to be honest. Where it's like, that's why it was the directors know. That's why you're here. You're here to watch the fights. True. You don't care about the all the other bullshit. This is the reason you watch this stupid movie. I mean, I I, I guess I was shocked because I I guess of modern movies, but I mean, I, yeah, I kind of was like, what. Uh, okay. I, th- I think more movies should do that nowadays just where it's just like final up. boss dead okay movie over I mean that would be cool I mean yeah because then there's going to be stay for the end credits after the credits there's a secret scene to make you maybe want to see the sequel and, oh, and here is the, the and then there's the 80s special of he's dead and then uh, right. cut and then you're like <laughs> he might not be dead yes he might come back oh shit like there's that bullshit so I mean yeah I mean that that's kind of cool uh, I, I, I would like to tell you this movie did not rate very highly on my on my on my scale i mean it's not a good movie i felt it was kind of slow even though i know that what they did before they always like sped it up right and you could tell you could tell that it was sped up because they were like doo, 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 and they were moving right. extra fast yeah, yeah. the sound effects in this one i felt were kind of shitty because they weren't always on and there weren't enough slaps okay so that's something that i wrote down while i was watching it i wrote the sound is the best thing and the worst thing about this movie. Okay, what was the so worst? like the best part is like when they put the music in and the beat drops and the, and the music okay. and the sound effects are on. You're like, holy shit, this is so freaking cool. Yes. Like when the when the fucking weird monk guillotine guy like walk is walking. It's like dong dong okay. dong. Yeah, it's yeah. like this is like a slasher kung fu movie. It's yeah. so cool. Yep. But then other times it'll be like this super drawn out fight scene where they're like getting ready for whatever reason. They're like practice your shield or whatever, and it's yeah. like oh shock shock shock. 
shook, shook, shook. And there's, there's no sound at all except for the crap sound effects that they add in. <laughs> yeah. And it just makes the movie so oh, yeah. slow. Well, it's almost hypnotic and putting you to sleep. Like, but well, also there's that also. And I mean, just even the, the, the feel of the fight doesn't feel... Right. Like, it doesn't feel as action-packed as I want it to be. And the, so it was missing that. It was missing the, the, the cheese... I need more cheese up shit. Really? Like, oh man, I, I, there's I, not enough cheese in this. The, the crappy arm stretch. The those things. Those the, things the are semi cheese. Flying on the those head. things are semi cheese. Like there has to be an over the top, and they didn't have enough of it. They had like like they had a little of it. They did it in a shitty way, but not in a way that I want it to be done. I want something absurd in my hero or my bad guy that I'll be like, "What the fuck is this?" And I'll be like, "But it works because you're fucking amazing." Like. So yeah, so I've set the table. All right. Now, now I'd like you to take a look at this. This is uh, your counter to Master of the Flying Guild. Well, this is just what I think is a a, a good scene. Right. So this is uh, Ghostface Killer, and he's just. So is this where Ghostface got his name from? Yes. Wow. And and this is like the first scene where he's coming to avenge some guy who fucked with him, and he's like, "All right, this guy's like now it changed his life. He's like some shitty." Fisherman or something, and Ghostface shows up to come fuck him up with his wife and his kid, and you'll get all the shit I'm talking about in this, I think. Nice. What do you mean? That's what you're yeah. here for. I want justice and nothing more. I want you and not them. So wait, go on. Uh, hi. 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 See, is the old guy Ghostface? Yeah, yeah, this is Ghostface. So. I warn you, you have no chance. Amazing. Yeah. See? Cheese. That's the cheese right there. Amazing cut. Yeah. Look! Look how much faster it is. Yeah, that's true. And the, the sound shots. Uh, the shots are better too. Even like just like the composition of the of the way. The shape. Absurd. Yeah. Like rolling on the floor is not a fight move, right? Right. But it's amazing. Amazing. Well, the zoom. You gotta have the zoom. That's gotta have the classic. Zoom. Like zoom. I guess you thought that you'd escape. <laughs> See? Perfect. Yeah, that's amazing. But I shall get Look at this. The whole montage of showing his skills. And this, uh, and and the last zoom out. thing. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. That pure cheese. <laughs> absurd, right? Like absurd, like. He's helping him flip, but it, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, it's almost over. The sound effects are way better in this. Yeah. It's just way fuller. You need that. You need, you need the laughing, you need the bad guy being a total asshole. That right there, in my opinion, is a, almost a perfect fight scene, and like like what I'm saying, right? It's it's way faster because you right. like this one. It was just like foo, foo, foo. it would it would get fast at times, and you'd sort of be like, oh, good, and then it would just be like, oh, it would okay, drag out, yeah. yeah, and like it, it was just too long. Like I want to see that well, shit. I want to see absurd, like just dumb shit happening. The one arm boxer wasn't even like that good of a yeah. martial artist fighter he, yeah he wasn't doing anything that made me say yo like every <clears throat> like like mainly in martial arts movies that i like the guy will have some weird power that you'll be like or a style like yes. like jackie chan like drunken boxer yes drunken yes master. he'll have something that will that he can turn on and then you'll be like oh no you're the fucking one-armed kid and then you'll be like fighting like normal and then you'll be like Oh, and you'll start doing this special technique, and you'll be yep. like, "Oh shit!" And the guy will be like, "Oh no, the one arm boxing technique." And then you'll be like, "Oh fuck!" Like that's why he's dope. He didn't have anything special about him. He just had one fucking arm. Well, and another thing too, if you want to think of it in terms of like like theory about story, right? He doesn't change or progress or get no, better. No, he's the shit in the beginning. He's the shit at the end. Yeah, he's yeah, he's the best. Whatever. But like normally, <clears throat> normally in a kung fu movie. It's about your crap. You're bad at it. Yep. And then you go to the the freaking temple, the Shaolin temple, yes, or whatever. Yeah. And you learn the technique, and then well, at the end you beat up the the, the 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 main story is 
the bad guy trained with the teacher. Right. He fucking fucked up the teacher, stole the forbidden and scroll, then the other learned, it, learned, learned the forbidden yep. technique, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. using it. And then you have to find out. And then, and then you come to find out that before the teacher dies, he goes, there is a, a way to technique. beat it. Yes. <laughs> How can you beat this? What? He has the water technique. But does... He doesn't know the cloud, and you're yeah, like, yeah, and he's yeah. like, you must go to the mountain to learn the cloud, yeah, and then you yeah. get there, and there's some shitty disgruntled master who fucking Yoda, never teaches the it. Yoda he, character. Yep, and you have to win him over, and then he's like, all right, and then the guy shows up, beats the fuck out of that guy, and then you're like, he's like, but master, and he's yeah. like, I taught you enough, you, and then you, you can find, do it. Yeah, and yeah. you find out that you had it in you the whole time. Like, yeah. this is the the classic shit. This movie had none of that. This nah, was just like, nah. No plot, like, no None. plot construction in any way that makes any sense. No. Like, I feel like this movie was really just very quickly made of just, like, we yep. need another kung fu movie. Yep, yep. We got this flying, crap flying guillotine prop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, yeah, just the, the last one did well. Fucking do it again. Steal some German German experimental rock and yeah. pop it in and let's go. They kind of chucked it together. I mean, it... it yeah, I feel like if these guys who made this one did it, it would have been the action would have been better. It, the characters would have been thought out better. You would have had like a bit of a storyline, like not so many random parts just thrown in where you were like, what the "Fuck yeah, are yeah. you?" Like, all right, like remember, remember the one dude, like the guy who showed up at the end, the first guy who showed up to kill the one armed boxer, the foreign guy or whatever he was. Yeah, what the fuck was he doing? Like he just showed up to the tournament, the, didn't, the, t- didn't, the, the Muay Thai guy. Yeah, didn't fight, and then just showed up like, "I want to get you." Oh no, like, he fought in the tournament. Okay, well, well he sorry, the guy. sorry, yeah, yeah, he fought, but I mean, like, 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 he didn't really have a purpose, though, like, he just sort of... Well, well, but yeah, it didn't make sense that he joined that guy, like, he's just, like, yeah. he's there, and then all of a sudden, he, like, sees the guy, and he's like, alright, cool, now he's helping him, and he's, like, a bad guy, I'm thinking, like, yo, you just watched that, that dude, like, murder everybody around you, and you're, yeah. like, and you're, like, that's my shit. Yeah, that's my guy, <laughs> yeah, we, well, yeah, one arm box, yeah, I, I'm not sure, maybe there was a prequel or something, and it was, yeah, like, an ongoing story, and also, uh, how that guy dies... If you forgot that, that was fucking... Oh, the Muay Thai guy dies with, the, in the burning house? In the fucking hot house when they <laughs> fucking... They, they put him in the hot house. Well, like I said, like, this movie has a bunch of cool concepts. Like, that idea... Yes! Which, I, actually, you know what? I'm that down might for hot be, house. That might be the inspiration by... Uh, I forget the movie. I think it's Once Upon... In, no, no, it's a Jackie Chan movie. Okay. Uh, I can't... I think it's Drunken, it's Drunken Master 2. Drunken Master 2, the end of Drunken Master 2, there's a whole fight that Jackie Chan does. With the hot coals? Yeah, and, and the hot coals the and fire, fire right? and he's like, they're like stepping on the things. Oh. A similar kind of thing to this, where they're like on like hot but they, stuff. they asked it out, then they, they just did but, not. So they took this idea from this, but, and they made it way better. But the problem is, is that... Which is, I think, what stuff like this is good for. Like, when you have shitty things that have interesting ideas, yeah, like, you can then make you it can better. take it and be like, this is crap. But this idea of a guy, of a yoga guy with his arm stretching is cool. This idea of like fighting yeah, in a fire yeah, 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 pit yeah, yeah. is it, cool. It's a good jumping off point and, or something that if you remade it properly, right. you'd, you'd be like, oh, this is fucking dope. But like, yeah, the way they did it, it it's like almost like fucking just footnotes all just jammed in one thing and you're just, <laughs> right, right. just kind of like, what are these? My fucking notes. He's like, make a movie of this. And <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah, right, I'll see what I can yeah. do. That's what it kind of felt like. All right. So what's your rating of this? I would have to give this a six. I mean, okay. you know, the action is there. It's Kung Fu, and I love Kung Fu. Yeah, it's fun enough to and watch. Yeah, it, it's a fun movie. Like, I mean, if you watch it, and it's not too long, so I mean... Right. Although know. it felt kind of long. I actually had to take a break. Probably give it a five out of it. Yeah. It's like a very middle, middle, middle. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So let us know in the comments if you got any other Kung Fu movies you want us to review. I think this is going to be... Kung Fu special right here. Hey, I'm in. We got the Wu-Tang in the back, so. (laughs) Wu-Tang, yeah. All right, so let us know if you like this, if you think this movie's dumb. Uh, Remember to like, share, subscribe, and uh, also subscribe to... Comment. Don't forget to comment. We want comments. Yeah, yeah, comment. Comment up the the wazoo. All right, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.